Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with Maths and Stats uh, and this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with generating functions. Uh, we're going to concentrate on sequence multiplication and in particular, uh, when we multiply generating functions together, what are the associated sequences? What are the sequences that are associated with the product of those particular generating functions? And uh, let's just actually, let's just maybe just recall our base, our base generating functions. So let's just recall, recall our base generating function, and it's for the sequence, it's for the constant sequence, which is one, 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 dot, dot, dot. So it's just a sequence of ones. Uh, and what we know is that there's an associated power series that encodes this particular sequence, and the associated power series is simply uh, x to the zero plus x to the one plus x to the two plus x to the three plus dot, dot, dot. Okay, and the coefficients of each term in this particular power series represent the represents uh, the values within the sequence. So, for example, the coefficient of x to the zero is a one. That represents the first term in this particular sequence. The coefficient of x to the one is a one also. That represents the second term. The coefficient of x squared is also a one. That represents the third term. The coefficient of x cubed is a one, and that represents the fourth term. So, what we're really saying here is this: is that given any sequence we can represent that sequence as a formal power series, okay, where the coefficients of the indeterminants of the x's represents the terms in the sequence. And what we also know is this, is that we can sum up, when we sum, when we do the sum of this particular sequence to infinity, what we end up with is we end up with a function which represents the summation, which is known as the generate function. So for a sequence, we have an associated power series, and for a power series, we have an associated function. So for this particular power series, and in a previous video, I've shown that the generating function for this particular power series, which represents this particular sequence, is let's call it g, g1 of x, is simply equal to 1 over 1 minus x. Okay, so let's just recall that's what a, that's, this is what a, this is what a, a sequence as a power series and it's generating function what it looks like. Now, what we're interested in is if you're given two sequences, okay, if you're given two sequences, uh, when we multiply the two sequences together, what are their associated generating functions? So what we'll actually just do, first of all, is let's just consider, let's just consider a, we, we're effectively going to be multiplying two, two uh, power series, okay? So let's just consider some, some minimal power series. And uh, let's say, for example, that we have, we have let's say a sequence, let's, say a f let's consider some finite sequences. So some finite uh, sequences, sequences, okay? And let's say the first sequence is A0, it's just A0. Uh, and what that's going to be, that we're going to multiply the A0 by another sequence, which is just a, a B0, okay? So we have two sequences and we want to multiply them together. Well, from a power series perspective, this represents, A0 represents, well, that's the term A0, so it's going to represent A0 x to the 0 times, okay, times the power series for the, se the finite sequence that just has a B0 in it uh, is going to be B0 x to the 0, okay? And you can actually see the result of this is simply equal to, it's equal to A0, A0, B0, times x to the power of x to the power of zero. So when we multiply a finite sequence with just one term, <clears throat> the product of that particular, of its power series is simply the product of the two coefficients, okay, associated with the x's, okay? But the important thing here is this, is that, <clears throat> is that when we add these two, when we add these two, let's say, uh, indexes together, zero plus zero, it gives us the power here. So just keep that in mind. Let's go to a sequence that has two terms in it. So let's consider, let's say we have a zero, a one, and we want to multiply that by another sequence, which is B zero, uh, B one. The formal power series uh, for, for these, or as a polynomial, a finite polynomial would be, for, for the first one, it would be a0 x to the 0 plus a1 x to the 1, which needs to be multiplied by the formal power series for this particular sequence here, which is b0 times x to the 0 plus b1 times x to the 1. And let's just multiply this out in the usual fashion when it comes to the product of two particular functions, okay? Uh, 
that'll be equal to two polynomials that'll multiply this out. We have a0, x0 times b0, x0 becomes a0, b0. x0 times x0 is simply x to the 0. Okay. a0 times b1 of x1 becomes plus a0, b1. x0 times x1 becomes x to the 1 plus a1, x1 times b0, x0 becomes a1, b0. x1, x to the power of 1 times x to the power of 0, simply x to the power of 1. Okay. 